Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Lane Krypton Encounters here. So I was going to go over this footage with you, and uh, my archive footage, and and uh, I'd done a video earlier today. It was just a little further up from when this image was taken. But what I wanted to show you was the difference between the physical Sasquatch and the cloaked and half cloaked Sasquatch. This, this image has an example of all three. And I'm just going to show you here where they're at. So I'm going to edit, go to markup. Okay, good. Uh, all right. So the very first uh, Sasquatch I got here is this one back here inside the pile of rubble. And he, he's not transparent, but his, his eyes are right here. He's at eye level watching me. Now I put, a, I put the full video up on my YouTube channel. It's, uh, you can go there and watch it. Um, uh, anytime, but this here is just a still image of it because the, the more I looked at the footage, I was like, wow, there's, there's a lot of things that I missed, and that's what we're going to go over here today. So there's the the one Sasquatch. So I'm going to go to, uh, now you know where he's at. Okay, you can see him there. See his eyes looking at me, right? Uh, there's a couple more in the background there, but We'll go over them later. But what was really intriguing is this semi-translucent Sasquatch right here. The, he's right here. You can see his leg is like that, his foot. Cute little fella. You can see he's blending in with this stick that comes by for half his body there. See that? That's pretty uh, interesting partially blending in okay you see his head comes up like that now he's got a little baby on sitting on his head right there and then as you see here's his arm it comes out like that and you see his fingers right here all right there's his hand that's one of his hands his other hand is reaching out for this little male Sasquatch sitting down right here. Uh, and he's sticking his arms out, holding his arms out for him to pick him up, right? Um, and then you can see his eyes right here. See his hand, what he's doing. And then you got this Sasquatch here is he is gripping the arm of this cloaked Sasquatch right here. Check him out. Completely cloaked out, his head. There's his one eye. There's his eye in the corner there. You would totally miss it if you wasn't really paying attention. But that is a Sasquatch, folks. And as you can see, his arm, it goes back like that, right? He's partially hidden behind the tree, too. But his body, his arm, other arm extends out like that. But what's really telling is the fact that at this point right here, as, you can, as you'll be able to see, he's completely translucent this way, cloaked out. But his arm is grayish here when it comes to interacting with this smaller Sasquatch. To pick him up, his arm has become physically, able, it's gray now. So his body here is translucent. His arm is gray to be able to interact with the kid and pick it up. That's pretty telling. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the markup and we'll go back to it and zoom back in so you can see see his face right there see his arm see how it turns gray 
right here, turns gray, and he's got his hand down. There's his thumb, right? Like that. And he's able to assist that young Sasquatch and pick him up. That's what he's doing. He's grabbing him up. And then that little Sasquatch is reaching his arm out to grab this Sasquatch and pick him up. They're getting ready in case they have to run because I'm in the woods. And uh, I just thought that was really intriguing. And look how well he's blended in. That's just amazing. So, yeah. Um, I have some pretty good theories on how they're achieving this uh, cloaking ability and stuff. Um, backed up with some evidence. I, I got uh, over the summer. Here's another Sasquatch right here. Halfway translucent. There's his beard. Um, over the summer, I found dig holes on the back end of my property where there was quartz crystal. And, um, the dig sites. So, I believe, because I've got other images too showing them, showing them putting stuff in their, in their hair and stuff. I believe they're coating their hair with that quartz crystal. And I, I have footage of them coating their hair with uh, maple and, and tree sap and, and fluids and stuff. They stain their, they stain their hair so they can uh, blend in better with their environment. And, uh, you know, I think that the, the tree fluid, it, it's, it's obviously high, highly, uh, I believe that it's alkaline high high uh, acidities and different things like that and i think that's how they're achieving their cloaking abilities is a combination of things they're getting from the forest i don't think that they are any kind of supernatural being i just i i'm more grounded i think that they are more they're achieving this through uh, mixtures and alchemy and technologies more than they are being a supernatural being. Um, and I, I, I think that's what's happening here. And the more evidence that I uncover, more points toward that. So, um, like I said, I won't keep going through this footage. I'll get it up on the channel as I go. But yeah, um, you know, I, I go out in the woods and I can, especially where I know they are, and you can see the uh, the bite marks in the trees and stuff. It's very apparent. Um, and, and the damage that they're doing to the trees is just unbelievable. But that's how they're feeding. That's how they're maintaining uh, their substance and stuff. If they had to eat wildlife or uh, depend on small rodents and stuff like that to sustain themselves, they would completely devastate our local, uh, our local habitats and stuff. And um, they would completely wipe out the deer population, etc. So yeah, I, I, the herbivores, that's how they're surviving is through the trees and uh, the, tree, the tree organ systems. And I think they're using that with a combination of quartz crystal and, and maple and stuff. And they're making themselves like a translucent, you know, light is bending around them. I don't think it's because they are see-through. I think it's, you know, manipulation of the light. So, because you can see here, even though he is translucent here, this Sasquatch is still hiding behind this tree. So he's getting assistance from that tree. Um, and not just out in the open. If he had 100% confidence in his cloaking ability, he would just be standing out in the open, which he's not. So that tells me 
that it's based off of uh, substance. So, I don't know. It's pretty interesting. I just keep digging up more and more footage about it. So, I'll share it with the channel. Anyways, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Peace.